All right. Am I recording? Ah, uh, yes, it's picking up my mic. Got myself a fresh cup of coffee. And I'm ready to teach you how to make the funny PS1 slopes. So I don't know where I'm going to put it in my map. I think, like, somewhere somewhere here would be cool, kind of wrapping around this pillar, maybe. So let me go into 32 MP mode. Play something around, like... 1,000 or so, be a good height, or a good uh, width for the slope. Now, first I'm just going to, like, freeform it going around, like such. Maybe I'll s start, like, here. Now, this is just, like... Like I said, just free-forming it for now, and then I can take the vertex tool, and I can flesh it out now. This is just something I've been doing to see if, like, if it's possible. Just, like, free-forming it, and it's been working uh, really well, because the, the other method is to actually use, like, tools and math to get a perfect curve. And whatever. And let me make the pathway in the middle, too like such then and once again just adjust the vertices so that it's the same length away then I'll do the same again doing it twice like such fleshing out the curve and such you're, you're gonna want to make sure that both of these have the same curve so if you find any discrepancies something to fix like this Turn dynamic grid on so I can see better. It's kind of hurting my eyes how many uh, little grid lines there were. I think, like, the slopes that I did over here could probably flesh this out a bit more. Although, that is not a necessary step. Just adds more vertices. But I'm insane, so... I'm okay with this. Oh, here's a discrepancy. Need to add vertis vertices here. I hope I'm recording. Yes, I'm recording. Good. I can make this a bit more pronounced. Yeah. Let's actually like curve this a bit more. Ah! Zone builder is stupid. There, that's good. Now that I, that I have that, I'm just going to draw a line between all of this. like such hmm. 
Okay, the long moments of silence are probably really awkward. My bad. Um, I get focused when I do this. So then just kind of make it feel roughly how you want it to. I, I like, um, what's it, having these middle two poke out a little bit. These v vertices. That's kind of sloppy, but that's like around what I want. So now to begin the triangulation process. So you draw a triangle between it. So um, make sure you like doing the same direction each time. This will help the math tricks because you're going to use some uh, what's a, of Zone Builder's automatic math drawing functions. So I like having it going corner, then follow it down, then do the other corner, then follow that wind up down, do the other corner, follow it down, to make sure that it is uh, what's it, the same direction of slant through and through. So, oops, I accidentally did a different direction. There. Oh god, you can probably hear my squeaky chair. <laughs> Too bad. And one last set of triangles. There we go. After you've built the triangle, after you have like the shape, and you've triangulated it, now you have to place down the vertex slopes. So let me find some vertex slope objects. Ah, sorry. Um, then just place these down on each of the corners. Like such. So the issue with doing this, all of these, you may you may have gathered it already is the absolute tedium. Like, if this was UDMF, then we'd be done after the triangulation part. But all the rest where you, like, have to define uh, slope vertice objects and uh, how they correlate with each, or how they affect each sector, that's the really tedious part that makes binary format awesome. Did I just say awesome? Gross. No, that makes binary format awful. Sorry, I'm tired. Obligatory coffee sip. So, or did I say makes, um, it makes, what's it called? Uh, UDMF, TXT format, non-binary format, awesome. I don't know, I said awesome there somehow. Ooh, this does not go to the corner, it should. There we go. Cool and awesome and awesome cool. I have placed the slope vertices. So, uh, what I want to do next is I want to give them tags. Now, this stage... Uh, so the issue with tag offset line def slopes is they create a bunch of unused tags 
which is like really frustrating if you're using regular tags if you're using like one two three four so i like to make them exorbitantly high like i'll start at like two thousand now that's what i did here and i'm at like tag 5,000 somewhere. Not that I'm using 5,000 tags, but it's like, well, what's this? This is 2,000, and then this is 3,000, and then this starts at 3,100, then this is 3,200, then this is 6,000, and then somewhere in here is like 5,000. Oh yeah, this little middle shape and it's not because I'm using that many tags it's just I'm jumping between numbers so that nothing could possibly conflict so I'm gonna use 7,000 for this so um find like uh the first uh what's it find just like a or here here's how so let me just how it's going to work is I'm going once I have the uh, 704's place, it's going to have uh, be defined as like vertex slope 1, 2, and 3, and then the next one is going to be 2, 3, and 4. So I have to make it line up such that, like this, uh, this so it, I don't have to describe it, but you, you'll know how to eyeball it where you're like, you, you have to start here, so it's 1, 2, 3, 4, instead of Wait, oh, I think you just, well, it depends on the triangle you get. But, like, if I started here, it'd be 1, 2, 3 for this one, but then this would be 1, 3, 4, if that makes any sense. Actually, oh, I don't know if it's recording my mouse. I hope it is. Uh, but now that I'm explaining this, I realize I'm bad at it, but we're going to start here, so this is going to be... 7001, 7002, whatever. I'm using middle click to select it, so just middle click and then. That way, if I accidentally misclick, it won't deselect everything. See, I can select this with middle click, but I can also misclick and it won't deselect anything, and that's like a godsend. So I'm going to set it from inner to outer, inner to outer, like such. Oh, I, I can also like hold middle click so this is still selecting by me holding middle click and then I get to the very end and I forgot a vertex slope wonderful I'll have to select all of them again after I place this down we love that here so, inner outer inner outer the whole shebang and now I'm gonna do the same here except now uh, that shape it starts on the edge and it goes in it's gonna be outer inner Oops. And you have to make sure you select it in the right order because we're going to use uh, some of zone builders math functions on it next so it'll like add all of them up incrementally based off of the order you selected them So first we're going to put a tag of like yeah, 7,000 there, and then just put plus 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 one. So the three pluses makes it additive, so it's going to take the first one I selected through the last one that I selected, and then increment their tags by one. So now this is 7,001, 7,002, 7,003. 7,004 onwards. Now, when most people do tag offset slopes, they're 
they're probably going to tell you to put line def 704 on these line defs. Don't. Because every time you align it, it's going to change to the offset, which is going to change which vertex slope it wants to attach to, which is really frustrating because you can never align them. So what I do is I draw a line def inside of the sector. That way, it never gets aligned. Everything you aligned is going to like do all these sectors around it, except for this one, because it's inside of it. It's not touching any lines, but it's inside the sector, so that way the line def 704 will apply. So I'm just going to draw a line, and then I can copy it, and I can paste it into each sector here, like such. This gets kind of laggy, partially because map massive. Success. Now, I'll do it here. Sorry if this is incredibly boring to watch. If it's incredibly boring to watch, uh, it's also incredibly boring to do. <laughs> but the outcome is worth it. Then we do the last row here of little lines to put inside of each of these triangles. Oh no, his zone builder stopped responding. Oh, what? What the hell issue was I having there? Oh, don't tell me it's going to throw an error now every time I paste. You've picked up the random except. Bad, let me save. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell? Save, 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 save. Oh no, Zombo is about to close randomly, isn't it? Oh. No errors found restarting computer. Oh, what's it? This map has been just. absolutely just. Uh, well, my computer has been really slow lately. So, like, oh god. Yeah, this is more than a zone builder error. This is a computer error. Look at the task manager. Holy hell. 
yeah, things have just been casually not working and I've been meaning to restart my computer and I haven't. Continue, save, just press continue and save vigorously. Continue, save. Yeah, I saved. That's how you save when zone builder throws errors. And are we good? Um, cool. Oh, it was a rendering error on screen. Oh, it's having trouble rendering the grid. Oh, no, that doesn't mean I just destroyed the map. Did oh, no, zone builder is just... Oh, yep, yep, the zone builder is doing that X thing. That just means it's too far gone, but that's why I saved. So now I can close the zone builder. Quit. Yep. And now... Let me just open the file again. And now with, with a fresh restart of zone building, I should be good. Yeah. We're good. Well. Issue solved. Yeah. Oh, whoa. This is way faster. Yo, Zonebo has been... What? I can paste this fast? Yeah, Zonebo has been having issues for a while. It's just been crashing. I've been pushing through it because uh, I'm patient. Damn, I could have restarted and everything would be so much faster. I am mad at myself. I've been suffering for the past day. Okay, whatever. Now it's time to set the tags and the offsets. Well, even even the scro even like scrolling is snappier. Oh, all right. Damn. Okay. So I'll select all from uh, this row here, and now it's all going to go up. Well, that opened instantly. Damn. Okay. So it's going to be seven thousand one, seven thousand two. And 7,003. Oh, make sure to give these lined up 704 and give them use tag and offsets. So 7,001, 7,002, 7,003. So for some reason, uh, if I do the the increments all at once, it breaks. So I have to do it one at a time. So I have to do plus, plus, plus one on the texture X offset. Then do plus, plus, plus one. Or press OK, and then reopen it, and then do plus plus one on the texture Y offset. And now, for some reason, plus 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 does not work on the tag uh, parameter. So I have to go up here and use tag range, and then put 7003. So that'll increment, wait, increment up by one, 7003. Yep. So now this first row actually let me give it a texture that's probably a good idea let me just select this like this deselect that okay give all of these a texture give the middle row a different texture like oh I accidentally changed the heights like this cool okay now this if all is right then yep this first column should work but nothing else yep okay now no now that we set the first column we have to set the third one the, the middle one comes last this is weird oh why is that its own sector nope bad there we go it was like a broken sector there. Glad I caught that. Both of these are doing that? Jeez, okay. No other place is having that error, right? Nope. Awesome. So now I'll select these. And now, yeah, just select. Selecting complete. 
Now, what am I working with? It's tag 731, 732, and 733. So, and the front X, I'll put 731, and the front Y, I'll put 732. And then I'll do the plus, plus, plus one, plus, plus, plus one, increment everything by one. Now, let me do that with the Y offset two, and then on the tag range, I'll just do 730, or 7033. Now, ooh, I almost forgot. Mind F704, use tag and offsets. So now, this should work. Yep. And making sure I didn't screw anything up. Awesome. Now, the next one, this is weird. So, we have the middle, but I'm going to split it into two parts. The middle left, like this, and the middle right, like this. So, now we're going to select everything in the middle left. Like such. Now, this is where it gets a bit weird. So, now we're using... Uh, Tag 7001, 7003, and 7034. So, we have this 7001, 7003. Now, instead of putting a plus 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 one where everything increments by a value of one, we're going to have everything increment by a value of two. So, plus 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 two, the front texture X, click OK, then plus 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 two. The front texture Y, click OK, and then what is the other one? 734. Then go to the tag range with an increment increment of 2, and then put 734. So, yep, increment of 2. Now just 704, use tag and offsets. Don't forget to click this ever. I've done that so many times, it's thrown me off a lot. Now the last one we'll do is going to use, so let me select all of these, oops, select all of these on the right side now, on the right middle, I guess that changes when it turns, but it doesn't really matter, it's the right middle from where we start. So this is going to use so tag 7032. Tag 7034 and tag 7001. So 732, 734, and then 7001. Actually, no, I don't need to set the tag right now, but I, I did anyways, I guess. I'm using tag range anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'll put plus 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 two here. Oh, my dad is calling me over the intercom. Let me stop recording for a second. I am back. I had to stop to get dinner because my dad called me to dinner. So I was gone for a few hours and somewhere along the way I got a headache. So that's great. So I'm probably going to go to bed immediately after done recording this. Where was I? Was I like... Okay, so I'm doing the middle right side and then I think... Looks like I did the X offset already. So the Y offset I put plus plus two and yep. Oh, balls, I didn't select the one at the end. Um, okay, 732, 7032, 7034. Oh, um, yep, yep, 7032, 7034. So then plus, plus, plus 2. The X, then plus, plus, plus 2, and the Y, then... Uh, so then 7001 and the tag and then increment by 2 and I th oh great I have to actually give it the slope effect the line f704 let me select all of that again yep um 704, slope front side floor by tagged vertex, use tag and offsets. Okay, now does this mean I have everything set up without error? Yes, I do. 
Now, let me give it some height. So let me select all of the vertex slope objects and then let me add like 2048 to the height. That works. Now, now's uh, the part where we make it go up. So first I'm going to, actually I'll do this in grid mode. I'll select all of the edges like such. So all of the edges here. Then I will add like 256 to them. Does that look good? Yeah, that's nice and curved around the edges. Now something interesting, I'm going to hit the height limit. It's going to be really frustrating. So I'm going to just like draw a sector around this. Like such. And then I'm going to select all of these sectors, not these ones. Let me deselect these sectors. Yeah, and I'm going to like 1024. Um, maybe 512 as well. Then let me do the same for the objects. If I'll do a minus minus so that they're in the same position. So minus minus ten twenty four. Minus minus five twelve. So yep, that's all in the same position except now this is here. Now let me just give it a texture. There, it has a texture. Cool. Um, let me move this down one so that. It will automatically give these textures instead of automatically removing the textures, because that's always really frustrating. Yeah, do that. Give it slope skew. Cool, it's textured now. Now, let me make it go up. So, I'll start in this end, and then I'll go up from here. Select it like this until I get to the back right here. And then I'll do like plus 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 256. So now it's incrementing up by 256 units. And I'll do that for each row here, starting front to back. Sorry if I sound like in pain. That's because I'm in pain. I have a pretty bad headache right now. I'm probably going to go to sleep immediately after this. Okay, so do that. Then in this row of vertex slopes, just go up and up till I reach the back. <coughs> yep, and then same thing, plus 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 256. And then Back here, but guess what? It's the same deal. Height plus 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 256. So now I do this and then, yep, it goes up and up until it's near the top here. It's probably a bit too high actually, but it gradually goes down and curves around until it is at the bottom here, where I want it to be. So that's pretty cool and awesome. It is a vertex slope that is sloped around the edges that it just it goes around. So I can test this in game. And it'll do hopefully just that. Shouldn't load any errors if there are any errors that means i screwed up somewhere along the way
but I didn't. Save that and save the slate as well. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye.